What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at which teams have the best chance of winning the Super Bowl and I'm going to give my predictions as well. I looked over these and I don't agree with a lot of the teams they put on here. So this is CBS Sports. This was not. I did not put this list together. But let's take a look at it. So, okay. Number one, they have the Niners. And it's not like this was made a couple of weeks ago. This came out two hours ago. I am not sure how the Niners would be the number one team favorite to win the Super Bowl. Like, they lost three straight. They did have a blowout game against the Jaguars this week. Honestly, though, that's not enough. They're still only six and three. So, I think you could put a lot of teams ahead of the Niners. I don't agree with them at number one. Number two, we have the Chiefs. And you could go back and forth if you wanted the Chiefs or the Eagles at one. There's a big debate going on or whatever. I agree with the Chiefs. I think that's the best pick. I do think the Eagles have a very good shot, but I think Patrick Mahomes is just too good of a player. Um, we'll have to see, though. That could be the Super Bowl matchup again. I don't know if you've ever had the same matchup twice, two years in a row in the Super Bowl, but if it does happen, I think this is going to be the year that it would because those are pretty much the two best teams in the league. And yeah, next up at number three, we have the Eagles, plus 575. So Niners and Chiefs were tied at 480, plus 575. I think that's a little too far down. They are 9-1. and one. So, you know, I feel like they should be number one, honestly. Uh, it's between them and the Chiefs. It's really close. Chiefs are 7-2, and two, though, I think. And I just don't completely agree with this. I think Eagles should be number one. I really don't know how the Niners got up there. But up four... Okay, so they've been this team's been red hot recently. The Ravens plus 950, so they're fourth right now. They have been red hot like um earlier this year, like a couple weeks ago, they were like third in the division, I think, and they just shot up. They've won like four straight. And yeah, it's been they've been going crazy. They've been blowing out all their teams. But they did lose this week. So they still at number 4 is the question. I do not know how I feel about that. Let's see your number five is the Dolphins. I would swap the Ravens and the Dolphins, honestly. Oh, I just feel like I win their division. As for the Dolphins, okay, they're plus 1,000. It's so only 50 behind the Ravens. Um, How do I feel? Well, the beginning of the year, I said the Dolphins are my Super Bowl favorite. And I stand on that still. I still think they have a very good shot at it. And I'm going to stand on that. They are my favorite to win the Super Bowl still. They're just too fast, too good. I think they're going to win the Super Bowl. I think you just swap them in the Dolphin, swap them in the Ravens. And the Dolphins, though, here's the problem with the Dolphins. They've been crushing all the easy teams they played. But people are starting to call them frauds because whenever they play a tough team, they get blown out. So we will have to see as the season goes on if they can fix that problem. But right now, Dolphins are number five. Okay, Cowboys at plus 1,000, number six. I don't agree with this either. Oh my goodness. I mean, they did almost beat the Eagles, but they didn't beat the Eagles. That's the bottom line. Um, Man, Cowboys, I don't know. I'm not a believer in the Cowboys. They always usually make it to the playoffs. As like a three or four seed and then just and they just get blown out so i think they're fake i mean they have a solid team this year but i i would not have them this high i would definitely at least swap them with this next team the detroit lions who i am a firm believer that they are having a comeback year and this is going to be their year to make a run in the playoffs so i would swap them with the cowboys maybe move them above the dolphins but i don't think we're quite quite ready for that yet Remember, Lions week one beat the Chiefs. They did not have Travis Kelsey, but still, a tight end can't can't change the whole course of the game. But Lions at number seven, that's an okay pick. That's okay. Bengals plus 1,400. I don't like having the Bengals ahead of the Steelers. They have not faced off yet. I think they play next week, I believe. That'll be a good game so we can see who's really the best out of those two. But I feel like right now the Steelers have shown more than the Bengals have. The Steelers have, they had a lot of problems early on in the year. The last couple of weeks, though, they've started to turn things around. And they are 6-3. and three. 
They keep finding ways to win. And in the NFL, winning is all that matters. It doesn't matter how you play when you win. It doesn't matter any of that. If you win, that's all that matters. Your record improves and you have a better chance going to the playoffs and then getting a better spot and having a shot to go to the Super Bowl. And Bengals, I don't know. I think the Bengals are turning their season around. They had a rough start. I think they are playing better than they were earlier in the year. That does not mean they are higher than the Steelers or even the Browns. Man, yeah, the Bengals lost again this week too. So I don't like having them ahead of the Steelers. The Steelers still aren't here. Jaguars are here after getting exploded, like absolutely destroyed. I think it was 30-43 against the Niners. So the Jaguars had a really good chance to prove how good they were. And they lost by 31 points to the Niners. So, plus 2,200. How do I feel about that? I feel like, once again, you can put the Steelers ahead of them. They have the same record, the Steelers and Dolphins, I mean, Steelers and Jaguars do. The Jaguars are leading their division, though. So that does change quite a bit. Right now, the Jaguars are the three seed in their division. Uh, Steelers are the five seed, but they have the same record. The Jaguars just have an easier division. So honestly... I don't know how I feel about this. And the, oh my goodness. They are really sleeping on the Steelers. Okay. I, I'm a Steelers fan, so this is a little biased of me. But Browns ahead of the Steelers. I was questioning putting the Bengals ahead of the Steelers. Now they're putting the Browns ahead of the Steelers too. Yeah, I don't agree with this at all. I don't know who made this list, but they need to be fired from CBS Sports immediately. This is a terrible list. And next up, we have the Buffalo Bills, who are not even in a playoff spot yet. So, this list is messed up. Okay, Seahawks. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. Vikings, yeah, that's good. Steelers at plus 6,000. Behind the Vikings, Seahawks, and Bills. The Steelers keep finding ways to win. So, they should be way higher. They should be up here in between the Bengals and Jaguars. Maybe behind the Jaguars. It depends. But, this is criminal. They are 6-3. and three. I know they haven't been playing the best. C.J. Stroud is having an MVP season, especially as a rookie. Really impressed with him. Saints and Nears way down. Falcons. Let's see who the bottom of the pack is. We got the Patriots. Panthers at the bottom. I think I would swap the Cardinals and Panthers. But, I mean, at that point, when you're the two bottom teams, it's not really going to matter except when, when the draft comes around in the number one pick. But that's not what we're talking about today. Today, Super Bowl and... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this list. It's really messed up. Uh, Steelers should be higher. Niners should be lower. Hmm. Dolphins, still my Super Bowl pick. Cowboys should drop. Yeah, Lions. Lions are going to do really well. I think they could make the AFC Championship, depending on how they play out the rest of the year. But thank you so much for watching. If you didn't know, we're two subscribers away from my goal by the end of the year of 100 subscribers. So please subscribe. It is my dream. Well, my dream hasn't been 100 subscribers, but that is a good start. And really, this channel has been exploding the last couple months. So thank you all so much for your support, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.